Hello YouTube, this is Jesse from Steinway PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue with showing you the steps of installing, compiling, and building Tesseract on your systems. Uh, you can do it on a Raspberry Pi, you can do it on a Linux. Uh, in the Raspberry Pi, if you want to do it, you may have a few other steps, but if you can see, uh, read one of my tutorials, watch one of my video tutorials, I, I show you how to do it on the Raspberry Pi. It's very similar, so you can watch and 90% and of these is applicable. So let's get started. In the last tutorial, I'm going to show you here the stuff. And we already did all of this stuff in the last tutorial. I'll show you how to download the libraries how to install, how to compile Leptonica, and hopefully you're here. You already did all that, so now you're ready to do this part right here, where I show you how to do just uh, Tesseract. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is a source file. So you need to do copy and then paste. Of course, you need to have Git installed before you clone, so just go, if you don't have Git already, so you just go sudo apt get install Git, and you will get it. Once you download it, if I try to download mine, it's going to try to build this, but I already have it, so that's why I stopped it. And once it is built, you're going to have something very close to what you're looking at right here. It's not going to be anything like this, because a lot of these things are not going to be there, but the basics are going to be there. Most of them are going to be there. So don't worry about it. Don't panic. I'm going to show you how your directory is going to look like that by doing this. The first thing you do when you, I'm working with auto tools. I always like to do this. You don't have to. They don't tell you to do that here. They just tell you to go right into Autogen. I like to do that just so I can install whatever requirement or whatever dependency that may be needed by the, the Linux distribution. So I like to do an auto reconf, and you can do the same if you want. Hit enter, and it's going to do an auto reconfiguration and installation of whatever is needed. Once that is clean and it's, everything is good, then you can run this guy. So you can do auto gen sh. And then run it, and it's going to generate whatever auto reconf didn't do. It will complete the whatever is needed in your system. Once you're here, and that's all done, you ran. Now you're ready for this step right here. But before you do that step, you see how this directory's got a lot of stuff there. You don't want to put more stuff in there. I mean, you can, but to just to make it less clutter, you can create a directory called build. And it's this guy right there. So you just hit enter. And mine is already there so because it's right there. And then you're going to change directory into the build directory. And once you're inside there, then you run this configure. And that way you limit all of that, all of those files to reside inside this directory right there. So now after you configure and after you do enable debug, you will notice that this directory will get populated. So just hit enter look at that output make sure you got everything after you hit enter 
make sure your compilers are all good, make sure the libraries are all met, and, and the dependencies are all met, and if you get a clean configure output and everything looks good, then you're ready to make. But if you don't have a clean configure, I do not recommend that you you know keep going unless you take care of those issues. Make sure whatever you need in, you download it, install it, and then auto reconf again, then auto gen again, and then configure again. Okay. Once you're done that, and you're all good, you're all golden, then we can do this next step. This is not a regular make. This is a different type of make. Because being that we're linking Leptonica to with Tesseract, we need to put this in, instead of inside of before they make. And make sure, so you will link in the libraries and the C clocks for the include binaries. Okay. Once you do that, you hit enter and it's going to make. It's going to take 15, 20 minutes, maybe less if you have a fast computer. Don't worry, let it do its thing. It's going to make every file. It's going to, you know, generate all the requirements. It's going to link everything. And once that is all done and it has done, you know, it has followed its course, then you're ready to do the last step which it is sudo make install and then it's going to install and then in order for those this command to stick and to become permanent you need also to make sure you configure after you do sudo make install then you do sudo ld config and it's going to configure and make the changes to the ld uh, those LD flags permanent. And then you're 90% done. Hopefully you're to this step where you can run some optional training stuff. This is not necessary, but it is it, helpful if you're doing certain training with using Tesseract and Le uh, Leptonica. And also, another thing that I wanted to show you is you need to, if you follow my last tutorial, more likely you already have this on your batch RC file, on your batch dot batch RC file. And you also need, if you're going to be working with text, you need to get the data. So one, where, one place to get that data, let me show you, you need to go here same website and you need to actually the other way you gotta go the other way um, there you need to go into where it says language data and pick the click on here and it's going to bring you to wherever those languages are and whatever language that you're using, in my case, I picked, you can pick as many as you want. I picked German, I picked English, I picked French, I picked Italian, Latin, and Espanol. I mean, so you can just click on it on each of these. And once they download it, you can put them right here in this directory. Uh, test data and they will be right there so you can see does your Deutsch does your English does your Italiano Latino and then you have your Espanol and Francais so just put them in this directory right there and make sure they're there and then you gotta like they say here you gotta point to that directory and put that also into your either on your uh, on your terminal or put it into your batch batch uh, batch RC file. And once you have done that, you're all done. Everything's 
hopefully you're here everything is clean uh, if you have any problems just uh, leave a, uh, a comment in the comments box on my video we'll try to get you through uh, this is it's not as hard as leptonic I think leptonic is a lot harder uh, it's a, this is a little bit simpler and uh, but we'll get you there so just let us know and make sure now in order to test you're going to get out of this directory and you're going to go into the testing which is this directory right there so we're going to go into testing and then we're going to test to make sure that Tesseract is working and we before we do that let me do something you could do this Tesseract version and this is what you want to see if you see this you're good Tesseract 4.0 and Leptonica 1.741 that means you're good so now let me show you the image that I'm going to be testing the program with and showing you guys. This is the image. The quick brown fox jumps, the schnelle brown fuchs sprint over the fallen hunt, the renard brand rapid shot, and so on. La volpe marron, el zorro marron rápido, raposa marron. You have like six languages, but you're testing to make sure that the euro text does well with all of those european languages so let's test it and the way to test it it shows you how to test it uh right here it tells you how to test it so it tells you the first command the image name the output base the dutch l and the language in use so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Tesseract. I'm going to do Eurotext. That's the name of the image. I'm going to call the output out. It's just the base, no extension. I'm going to do dash L and then the language that I'm using. So I'll just hit English. So just hit enter. And it's going to think and do and do its thing. It's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a, a while. And it's running. It's going through all of those languages and making sure that they are all there. And just wait a little bit and it is done so now we see that it produced this file right here so if we do display of the Eurotext image you can see it here and if you this is all of that so you just to refresh your memory and then if you do this one cat whatever inside this text file you see that everything that was in that image it was cut cut so it, it did a pretty good job we got everything the quick brown fox jumps over the money it got all of the characters and it went right into German it went right into French it went right into Italian, Spanish, and then Portuguese. So I did pretty good. So this is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, send me an email, and we'll get you through. And if you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on GitHub and Twitter. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.